Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and I'm sure you're aware that a common figure who shows up from time to time in the Mass readings during Advent is St. John the Baptist. In fact, in today's Gospel, Jesus says that John came in the spirit of another prophet, Elijah, about whom we hear in the first reading from Sirach, chapter 48, where he is described as a prophet of fire. Why? Well, because he once called down fire from heaven to burn up a waterlogged sacrifice, thus proving that there is only one true God, and also because according to tradition, he was taken up into heaven at the end of his life in a chariot of fire. Last summer, Pope Benedict, in one of his Wednesday audiences in which he taught about prayer, talked about Elijah and fire. He said, Dear brothers and sisters, what does this history of the past tell us? First of all, the priority of the first commandment, worship God alone. Whenever God disappears, man falls into the slavery of idolatry, as the totalitarian regimes demonstrated in our time. Secondly, the primary aim of prayer is conversion, the flame of God that transforms our heart and enables us to see God and so to live in accordance with God and live for others. And the third point tells us that this history of a prophet foreshadows the future Christ. Here we see God's true fire, the love that guided the Lord even to the cross, to the total gift of himself. True worship of God, therefore, is giving oneself to God and to men and women. True worship is love. Of course, the fire of God, the fire of love burns, transforms, purifies, but in this very way, does not destroy, but rather recreates our heart.